Have you ever opened an application and it takes a lot of time to load? Or does your application lag anytime you use them? What if we can allocate more RAM to the application to speed it up? That will be cool, right? Yes, that's the purpose of this video. And in this video, we are going to take a look at how to allocate more RAM to specific programs on Windows. But before we start, please, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon, so you can get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you. By allocating more RAM to a running process, we can speed up an application or fix a process that's lagging. It's also good to note that, few applications and games are meant to consume more RAM and allocating more RAM to those specific programs will allow them to run smoothly. Now, let's take a look at these two methods which allow us to specify more RAM to a certain process or application. You can use the Windows 10 Task Manager to prioritize certain applications. To do this, you need to elevate its priority on the Task Manager. First of all, you will need to make sure the application you want to speed up is already running. In this video, I will be speeding up Camtasia. Let me minimize Camtasia. While your application is running or loading, right-click on the taskbar and click on Task Manager. After Task Manager has opened, look for the name of the program you want to speed up and right-click on it. Click on Go to Details. If the Go to Details option has been grayed out and you can't click on it, then, click on the Details tab and search for the program you want to speed up. Right-click on the process you want to speed up. In my case, which is Camtasia. Now, click on Set Priority. Here, you will find multiple options. To elevate the priority, select anything that is above normal. You can select either above normal, high, or real time. After selecting the priority, you will see a confirmation box, click on Change Priority. Now, you will notice a significant change in the speed of your application. Let's take a look at the second method. In this method, we will specify the amount of RAM for each application. This method works with every application, but to demonstrate, I will still be using Camtasia Video Editor. With this method, you will need to make sure your application is currently not running. Now, right-click on the application's shortcut and click on Properties. If you don't have a shortcut of the application, just create the shortcut and continue with the tutorial. On the Properties page, click on Shortcut. In the Target field, navigate to the end of the text and outside the last double quotes. Now, press the spacebar and type the following. After typing the text, now, you need to specify the amount of RAM you want to allocate to the application. But you will need to specify the amount of RAM in bytes. To do the conversion, open your web browser and go to google.com. In the search field, type gigabyte to bytes converter and press enter. But if you want to specify the size in megabytes, then type megabyte to bytes converter. Don't use Google's conversion. Scroll down and click on the first link. Now, enter the amount of RAM you want to allocate to your program in gigabytes. I would like to allocate 2 GB of RAM to my program, so I will type 2, and click on Convert.
Copy the bytes value and minimize your browser. Go back to the properties window, and after the equal to sign in the target field, paste the bytes value you have just copied. Click on apply. Some applications will ask for administrator permissions. Just click on continue. But if it doesn't ask for any permissions, that's okay as well. Also, make sure to leave a space between the double quotes and the text you have just typed. If you have not left a space between the text and the double quotes, you are going to run into this error. If you see this error, make sure you have a space between the text and the double quotes. Click on apply. This action will allocate 2,147,483,648 bytes, which is equivalent to 2 gigabytes of RAM to Camtasia. You can always modify the size, but the amount of RAM should be in bytes. Usually, Windows is pretty good at RAM management, it knows pretty well how much memory to allocate to each application. Specifying too much RAM to any application can cause other applications to crash or trigger a few errors. Always make sure to not specify too much RAM. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Please, make sure to drop a like, and also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on the bell icon so you can get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Also, don't forget to share this video. Thank you.